Alrighty guys, we're here at their next job. It's a pond project I was telling you about. Um, gonna take and try to give him some more volume. So we're gonna take and make this bigger and then work the dam over as well. That tree, I hate that. That tree's gonna have to end up by going. I redone this pond probably four years ago, wouldn't hold water. And so I cleaned it out and then had to cut the inside of the dam vertical because it was leaking underneath the dam. So I cut it way down took clay and packed in there and made a slope and it's held real well so anyway but yeah like i said for like from where that tree is we're going to kind of cut that down we're not going to be able to get a lot but i'm going to try to get him a little bit more volume here because he's going to try to use this as irrigation for his strawberries and uh, blackberries and stuff because he's got a strawberry uh, business here so anyway that's the plan for today we're going to unload the excavator and try to get after it Track shovel slid off, but we didn't run over it, which is good. Anyway, here we go. All right, I'm gonna work my way up here on the dam.
finish them out.
I didn't have enough. Again, my goal for today, I am going to have to get to, like I said, I'm going to bring the loader over. I mean, I can just see that already. Um, because I need, when I dig out and pile the dirt over there, I'm going to have some way to move it over here to work this dam and compact it. So, but my goal today was just to get this in here before this rain gets here. Um, otherwise, See what we can do today with this, and then I'll come back. I'll bring. I'll bring the uh, track loader with me. And sorry, little willow tree. Trees aren't good on the dam. Willow tree or not.
All right, guys. Well, I have got my cut. Um, kind of just kind of put in there right now. I've got all this dirt dug out. But now what I've got to do, I'm leaving this right here because I may have to build this up just a little bit. Plus, give me a little bit of room. I don't want my spillage to go back in to my cut. So, give myself a little extra room. But now I've got to go get the track loader. I've got to go get the track loader because I, now I have to move all that. So, I'm going to go grab the track loader. Start moving this pile. And start getting it up here on this dam and uh, widening this dam and raising this dam. I'll bring the laser back with me as well. Well, I don't know if I'll get the laser today or not, but because I don't know that I'm really gonna need it right now. So biggest thing is, is I gotta make sure I get this dam up high enough to back the water up into my cut. And I, it's, I may try to go down on the far side of that cut a little bit, take a little bit more of that out of there, but I'm somewhat limited because I have to slope that because he still wants to be able to drive around next to the fence. So I've got to slope that vertical cut. So it's going to move it. It's going to move back that way when I do that. So I've got to be careful um, on how deep I get that side over there. I, like I said, I need to allow myself a little bit more. I may be able to take a little bit out there in the middle yet, which I, when I get the track load over here, I could do it with that. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I got a crap ton of dirt to move and get over here on this dam and get this dam built up and, uh, and get the back, uh, get the back slope done. Again, we've got quite a bit of rain coming in, supposedly. So we'll see. It is Missouri, so uh, it could be lining up to have a tremendous amount of rain, monsoon, and turn out sunny and not get anything. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, go back, grab the track loader, get it over here. My son's got a ball game after a while, so I'm not gonna be able to work a whole lot, but all anyway, I'll. Uh, I'll go uh, get it and get started on moving this. It won't take too awful long because it's a short move with the loader. So anyway, I'm going to go do that and I'll be back in a little bit. All righty, we are back with the loader. Got it, uh, got it here. We're going to take and move all that dirt right here. We're going to put it on the back side of the dam raise the dam up and we're going to put it on the back side of the dam and uh i didn't bring my laser but i'll probably take and try to raise the dam this east end of the dam which is this way is higher so i'll probably try to take and blend it in right there with the east end which should bring it up about another three foot above the center there uh, allow us to back that water up more still should have enough to get in on the back side uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, man, to end up by... I'm going to try to save that wide, that white oak there. I'm going to try to save that, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, I don't really know until I get the laser here. Start doing some shots to see, but uh, I'd really like to keep that white oak and just come this side and, and make it loop make it loop back in like this and cut that out and it, i mean and then plus build the dam up and that'll that should build to back us up the only bad thing with that is is that tree may get to the point where it's going to be in the water and if that's the case it'll kill it so anyway we'll see how things shoot when we get the laser when we get the laser here and get it uh get it going
guys done for today um, I got quite a bit of that out of there and got it up here as you can see it's really packing in real good but I'll just keep adding work my way around here and then I'll get down here and like I said I'll start coming up and start compacting that this isn't crucial because this really isn't going to be holding any water back I mean the water level is going to be on the already uh, established da uh, dam this is just to create a little bit more freeboard and um, if we can raise the pond up a little bit then that's going to be the plan if the only shot that we have to raising the water level very much is i'm going to have to continue the dam on around over there and that's going to be a pain in the butt because of that fence being there 
so i mean it could probably come up another two oh probably probably a couple foot before it'd want to start running around over here so even if i can get even if i can get another three maybe four foot maybe by building that up maybe we'll create a little bit more volume because i'm going to dig out back over there some too i'm going to dig out over there as well and i'll probably use that to build this part of the dam up right here earlier when i first got in the track loader and came around here i mean it looked like i'd never ran a track before, loader before in my life but um i think the owner had bermed up put a berm right here i think because i don't re remember me leaving it like that but i think he put a berm there of course the weeds and everything had grown up so i didn't know it then there's a there's a big mound right here on the dam there's a big mound there i was just going to come across the dam this way but there was a big mound so i had to go around and then i was coming through here <laughs> and there's a berm through there so i'm trucking along and hit that berm and i thought holy crap so anyway, yes, I have ran a track loader a couple of times, but I know first part didn't look like it. So um, hopefully I can get enough width on this dam over here that I'll be able to set with the excavator and come in here because I really need to compact this here and I can't get down or I'm not going to get down in there with the dozer, even with a little dozer, because if I slip and go off that deep, that dam doesn't take much of a slope down and i'll turn over inside that pond and i'm not going to do that so uh over here won't be a problem but i'm going to try to continue to build this up i should have plenty of dirt i can build this up give me enough width i can set on the outside turn and take my bucket and tamp this as i work my way around anyway that is the plan so uh anyway i'll see what tomorrow brings as far as getting back out here depends on the weather no bullfrog getting after it didn't he calling it calling the ladies in um but anyway yeah i'll try to get back out here tomorrow depending upon the rain the next few days is gonna sketchy uh they're talking rain who knows all right, I'm going to get out of here, uh, go to a ball game. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell, and that way you know when I post a, uh, I post a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, um, and that's at DirtDaddy953. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here, and we'll talk to you later.